be in no doubt those that have participated in this violence will face the full force of the law. The police will be making arrests, individuals will be held on remand, charges will follow and convictions will follow. I guarantee you will regret taking part in this disorder, whether directly or those whipping up this action online and then running away themselves. This is not protest. It is organised violent thuggery. And it has no place on our streets or online. Right now, there are attacks happening on a hotel in Rotherham marauding gangs intent on law-breaking, or worse, windows smashed, fire set ablaze, residents and staff in absolute fear. There is no justification, none, for taking this action, and all right-minded people should be condemning this sort of violence. People in this country have a right to be safe, and yet, we've seen Muslim communities targeted, attacks on mosques, other minority communities singled out, Nazi salutes in the street, attacks on the police, wanton violence alongside racist rhetoric. So no, I won't shy away from calling it what it is, far-right thuggery. To those who feel targeted, because of the colour of your skin or your faith. I know how frightening this must be. I want you to know that this violent mob do not represent our country and we will bring them to justice. Our police deserve our support as they tackle any and all violent disorder that flares up. Whatever the apparent cause or motiva motivation we make no distinction. Crime is crime, and this government will tackle it. Thank you. So, two questions, Rob. Yes, we've seen, um, we've seen a hotel being set fire to a robbery instead of being broken into. Can you say that the policing operation has been a success, and what more can the government do to stop this? Well, as a government, we've had meetings all weekend, and in the latter part of last week, with law enforcement, with police, to make sure the necessary support and arrangements are in place. We do have standing arrangements for law enforcement, which means that we can get arrests, charged, remands in custody and convictions done very quickly. I myself was part of that in 2011 when I was Director of Public Prosecutions, and I'm determined we will do whatever it takes to bring these thugs to justice as quickly as possible. Do you believe everyone that is taking part in this disorder is part of the far right? And does any of the scenes, do any of the scenes uh, we are seeing at the moment give you pause for thought about divisions in the country or how you approach other broader domestic policy areas? If you target people because of the colour of their skin or their faith, then that is far right, and I'm prepared to say so. But it doesn't matter what apparent motivation there is. This is violence, it is not protest. It doesn't matter what the motivation is. The motivation for the vast majority of people in this country is to see their streets safe. And that's what I'm determined that we will deliver. Thank you. Prime Minister, is it possible that tougher sentences could be given out to rioters as they were in 2011 to act as a deterrent? I think there needs to be the full force of the law. And I think it needs to be swift. What happened in 2011 was that we were able to see individuals who took part in violence, arrested, charged, remanded and convicted very swiftly. Standing arrangements are in place for that and we will do whatever it takes to ensure that the message is absolutely clear that if you're taking part in this violence, you will regret it and you'll be brought to justice as quickly as possible. Thank you, Thank you very much.